Hi, my name is Ram, and in this episode we'll set up React Router 4 and render empty games collection to the page. So we want to have link to our games collection on main page. This link will lead us to games route, and there we want to see games. For that we need to use React Router, so let's install it with npm install react router at next. That installs fourth version of React Router, which is in alpha right now in the time of recording. Now let's open app.js file. Here, instead of this text, let's add link to games route. We use link component, we specify prop2 pointing to games route, and we specify some link text like games. Of course, we need to import link component from React Router. Now, in browser, you can see the link that points where we need it to point to, but clicking on it raises an error. We need to set up router, and to do that, we use another high order component, like we did with Redux and its provider component. So let's open index.js file and let's import component browser router from React Router. Next, we wrap our application in it like this browser router wrapping provider component. Now, when we go back to browser and click games link, it works and no errors are being raised. Nice. Now, when we go to that route, we need to render games list component. In React Router 4, it's so easy, it's almost embarrassing. In this router version, you just use components, and that's brilliant in my opinion. So, we want to click on games link and to render games page component inside of our app component. For that, we import match component from React Router, and then we use it where we want to render subcomponent. We provide pattern to match, in this case, games route, and component that we want to render, in this case, games page. Now, when pattern is matched, games page component will be rendered in its place. Cool, eh? Let's import games page from games page file, and let's create this file, gamespage.js. And let's define it as simple component games page and render simple content header games list. Now go into the browser you see it there. Clicking back, it disappears. Clicking on the link, it appears again. Magic, coolness, and pure awesome sauce. And that's it for router for now. To recap, first we need to wrap application in browser router component and then use other component to handle routes like match, miss, or redirect. And we'll look into some of them later. Also, I plan to create mini-series dedicated to React Router later, when it goes final. Now that we have routing in place, let's render content of our Redux store to the page. For that, we need to connect our games page component with Redux. So, let's open games page and import connect function from React Redux. Next, let's connect component to Redux. For that, let's go to the bottom export line and wrap games page into connect. First argument for connect is map state to props function that takes some piece of state from Redux store and pass it to component as prop. So we define this function, it takes the whole state as an argument. And then we return object and for this component we need to have games. So we get games from state and assign them to games attribute. Now that we have games collection, we can access it in component. But first, as we introduce new prop on this component, let's document it with prop types. So we define games page prop types equals to object, games, react prop types, array, and it is required. Now let's render empty message if collection is empty. For that, let's render games list component and pass games collection as props to that component. Of course, we need to import it from games list file. And now let's create this file and define this component as functional component. This component takes one prop, for now, games. And in render, just return diff element. As it takes props, let's define prop types for it as well. Games list prop types is games, array is required. Now in the component, we can render different content depending on emptiness of games collection. So let's define two constants. First one is empty message, and it's just a simple paragraph with message there are no games yet in your collection. Another one is games list. For now, let's just add here a dummy text, but later we'll iterate through collection and create games list. 
And now in return we use conditional. If games collection is empty, we render empty message. Otherwise, we render games list. Now let's go back to browser and we can see empty message. Great, we set up router, connected games page component to Redux and rendered empty message when we have empty collection. If you found this video useful, please support my work by liking it, subscribing to this channel or sharing it with your friends and colleagues. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.